It was about 85 degrees. Sun was shining. Perfect breeze. Waves slowly crashing. Setting the scene for a perfect day. Daisy and Jill were just hanging out at the beach as normal. Daisy says, Eh, maybe a seven? Jill chimes in it. Yeah, I could see that. Oh, now there's a ten. Daisy says, Yeah, that's a ten for sure. The girls went on, pointing out and raiding person after person. Beautiful day at the beach. Moderately full, but still very enjoyable. Sammy had been testing out a new piece of equipment. She ordered off a TV that supposedly allowed you to hear conversations block away when she stumbled into Daisy and Jill's conversation. She watched from afar as she could clearly hear them ranking those they were pointing out. Guy after guy, occasionally a girl. She didn't judge. I mean, hey, it's 2016. It's cool. She followed it along until she noticed them noticing her. She pretended to be reading as she listened to them say, Jill. You think? And Jill says, oh yes, right there. A perfect 10. Definitely. Just look closely. I mean, maybe, but you... It's your opinion. Daisy, you know I always know how to pick them. <laughs> Whatever. Wanna make a bet? Ugh. I guess. Like, what's the bet? I'll clean the whole house for a month, including your laundry. Fine. A month, you're on. Come on, Daisy. Let's invite her over. Sammy mentally scrambled as she looked up and locked eyes with the two girls who were motioning her over. Damn it, she thought. What do they want? Why do they want me to come over? Embarrassed and hesitant, she stood up and brushed off the sand, then proceeded to walk over to the girls who looked like hungry wolves. And the closer she got to them, the more she thought the look in their eyes went from hungry to deadly. Alarm bells went off as she reached them. Hi, she said. Can I help you? Come sit with us. We like making new friends, Jill said. With a creepy smile that never reached her eyes, Sammy said. And then she said, I'm actually getting ready to leave. My name is Sammy. I'm Jill and this is Daisy. Daisy nods but says nothing with the same creepy smile Jill had. We've never seen you before. Sammy says, I only come up here once in a while when I have time to drive up. Daisy looks at Jill and says, oh, you're not from around here. No, about 45 minutes away, but my family and I used to come here when I was younger. Now I just come up once in a while when I have a break from work and school. We're like two blocks from here, said Jill. We are practically live here, she said as she creeped closer to Sammy. Daisy sat, observing the two. Then Daisy said, you come here all, all alone? Yeah, that's a nice drive. Jill and Daisy shoot each other a look. Ow! Sammy said. She felt a small pinch on her arm and noticed Daisy slipping a syringe back into the side pocket of her portable cooler. What the fuck? Did you just shoot something into my arm? Sammy noticed her arm getting really warm and her vision getting very fuzzy as she looks at both girls. You're just going to take a little nap now. At the mention of the word, Sammy's out. When she finally comes to, obviously, the sound of crashing waves and feels something wrong. She opens her eyes to see it's not dark outside. Bound and gagged and dangling from the sandy area under the pier. As her vision focuses, she notices Daisy and Jill just looking at her. Good, you're awake. We've been waiting for hours. Daisy looks at Jill. Just get on with it, Jill. It's super late and I have to work tomorrow. Jill says, I still think she's a 10. 
Who cares? We're never going to find out at this rate. Joe says, Sammy. It is it is Sammy, right? Sammy nods and tears stream down her face. Sammy, Daisy and I have a bet here to see if you're a 10. But it's not what you're thinking. You see, we would rate random people. On a scale from 1 to 10, and there's a reason. A game we sort of created, you see. We rate people based on how loud we think they'll scream. Now why would they scream, you ask? Sammy's eyes darted, panicking between Daisy's and Jill's. Slightly bored expression. But still, both of them creepily smiling. Jill approaches Sammy, moves the gag, and Sammy doesn't scream, doesn't speak. Only panicked breathing. Jill says, no scream? Nothing? Daisy says, come the fuck on, Jill. Jill says, hang on. Maybe this will inspire something. Jill picks up a small tool of the sandy ground that had been sitting by her feet. See this? It's going to hurt like a son of a bitch.